Welcome to the Modernizing Cobra Applications through Arctic series. In this video, we'll introduce the image processing client for Orbix users. For VisiBroker, please see the next video in the series. To set the tone for some more interesting parts of the demo later in the series, we'll take a look at the Orbix Java directory in the image processing demo, which contains a pretty standard Cobra client application. Here you can see we have some build files, some run scripts, a source subdirectory containing the client code, and finally a build.xml file, which we'll take a look at first. Our demo application is GUI based and has some third party libraries to form and control our interface. I'll scroll down and you can see that we have an IDL target. This is a key aspect of our Orbix Java functionality as it takes the IDL of our demo image processing application and generates Java stub code, which allows the GUI interface to interact with our server. In order to build our demo application, we need to set some environmental variables. So we'll set an Orbix home and a Java home. We should now be able to build and run the demo. To build the demo, we run the build script. Likewise, run will run the Orbix Java client. Once it's started, I'll add a username to log in, which is registering our username Orbix1 with the Corba server. You can now see the GUI interface of our demo image processing application. It has two panels, the left for the source image and the right for the destination image. Splitting the two panels is the center panel that has a drop down list of operations that come from the server, a transform button, and an option to make the destination image the source image. There are two ways to load an image, from the computer or take a picture from the webcam. First we'll upload a scenic image from our computer, then we'll transform it using the grayscale operation. Next, we'll make the destination image our source image, and then we'll perform another transformation to that image. I could also take a picture from the webcam by clicking on, and then capture once we're okay with the picture, and we can transform it in the same way. The demo also gives you the ability to share with other clients, and to do so, we'll start a second client. Let's call it Orbix2. And once started, that second client has nothing loaded, so I'll now we'll go back to our first client and click the Share button. We should now see both of our clients. We'll select the Orbix 2 client, and then Yes to allow the second client to accept the image. Now, back to the Orbix 2 client, we'll see the image in the destination panel. Now we can save that image to our computer. So to recap, what we just showed is a very standard Corba to Corba interaction with an image transmitted from a client to a server and back again. Also presented as a Corbra client callback, where the server sends a transformed image received from one client to a second client. And coming up later in the series, we'll show you how the same Corbra server can provide the exact same functionality to different types of clients, not just Corbra. And in the next video, we'll introduce the image processing client for VisiBroker users.